They should learn a thing or two from this incident. Don't know what that is actually being followed. Hillary Fordich is a royal watch extraordinaire. She can help us out with that. Hillary, what do you think? He called him out, that is the media, for going too far on this rumor mongering and all. So what's the fallout? Yes, he did. Although I would say perhaps I'm just one of those people that tries to make lemons out of lemonade and that, look, Oscar Wilde said the only thing that's worse about being talked about is not being talked about at all. So, you know, what if the British royal family was totally and utterly irrelevant? If no one knew, no one cared, no one talked about it. So that's the positive way to look at it. Although I will say, yes, yeah, some of it was, let's say, somewhat negative, vile and intrusive. Um, she wants her privacy. She um, should have due to her privacy. Um, I think that he really really must just appreciate that the world is interested in her and her name was trending. One of the things I, I first saw is Kensington Palace itself has sort of been called on the carpet uh, for not uh, saying that she was dealing with something this serious when they announced on January 17th that the princess would be spending a couple of weeks in the hospital after successfully undergoing this abdominal surgery and then specifying on the 29th that it was not cancerous. Now, did they not know? Did they know and they wanted to keep it secret? Do we know? Yes, they wanted to keep her private in terms of everything to do with what stage of cancer and what kind of cancer. But I think, given her presentation, she didn't have to go public, Neil. I think something else that we can take away from her addressing the camera was, if you notice, and as a woman, I think we tend to notice this, is that she really wasn't wearing either any makeup or the makeup was very minimal. I think perhaps hmm. she was saying to the world, look, there was a lot of criticism with the doctored photograph. She admitted to it. And now she was showing the world that she would be literally barefaced and natural and address it in a natural state. I think that took a lot of courage as well and put to rest any doctoring concerns. So um, a lot has been mentioned about Harry and Meghan. They issued a brief statement of support. It was a very proper statement. Um, but we're told they found out kind of when we found out and that the two brothers who famously uh, didn't even talk to each other at this tribute to their mother a couple of weeks back, or at least they were speaking at different times. I don't know if they ever met each other there. Um, and that continues. That friction continues. Is that true? Yes, I was actually on air live uh, last night, prime time, UK time, GB news time, although late afternoon here, when that statement did come from the Sussexes, I thought it was, to your point, it was brief, to the point, there was nothing about them, there was no whinging, no whining, and if they had stayed along that sort of track the entire time since they decided to leave the royal family, their popularity rate ratings would not be in the bucket as they are now. With regard to your question about friction, yes, absolutely, Neil. Look, Look, any of us, if somebody throws their family under the bus, actually throws all their friends under the bus, and remember, she left her country, then she went back to her country, and decent people don't like deceit, Neil, and they deceive the public. They said they wanted their privacy. They hired three PR firms, and of course, in that Oprah interview, there were at least 17 shall we call them mistruths and misrepresentations. So they've done a lot to damage their own reputation. So that friction comes from being hurt. Remember, it was Prince Harry who actually threw Kate under the bus. And when she first came into his world, in other words, his relationship with Prince William, he said, she was like the, she is like the sister I've never had. He was so close to her. Their relationship was palpable. We could see it in photographs of a picture cell, it's a thousand words. So Neil, we know when that relationship soured and he should never have thrown her under the bus because Prince William, it's one thing to hurt him. It's one thing to hurt his extended family, but you do not hurt Princess um, Catherine under his watch. Well, we'll see what happens now. A lot of families come together with something like this. Um, a good many yes. families don't, but we'll see. Hillary, always good. I learn a lot every time I talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Neil, for having me.